Hi, Dick Rochford here. This is uh, Birdie and 134 Echo Bravo, a G1000 equipped Viridian. And we're um, uh, northbound to Twin Falls, Idaho. You can see we have uh, some weather below us, not serious, but uh, widely scattered. And uh, this is a good opportunity to talk about how we're going to use uh, Nexrad uh, to navigate our way to Twin Falls. And this is an excellent strategic tool, most of you know, not to use this uh, this page for navigation, uh, tactical navigation between weather events. And the reason is, is that usually this information is pretty old. Right now, you know, the U.S. portion of this is only four minutes old. However, that's delivery time only. That's not processing time. Keep that in mind. Now then, the trick is uh, to know roughly where the weather is, and that's what it does. Uh, but then we're going to go here to the radar page. We're going to adjust the radar so that the tilt uh, presents ground about on the outer quadrant. And it won't be even, but it's okay. It's not... Uh, terribly important that it be exactly. I just want that fix it so that water doesn't uh, creep in underneath us without us knowing about it. And that, and so by painting the ground out there, we accomplish that. Eight seven two Lima Delta contact Salt Lake Center. One and then three, another three, very important five, concept uh, just keep trying them every few minutes or so and is where are we down. tracking over the ground? One, and three, two, two, five. Our course is taking us ten degrees right of the lover line. Now that's important to know because uh, the radar is bolted to the wing that's pointing at the lover line. So what we need to do is put the bearing pointer 10 right. Which is what we've done. Which means when we go to the vertical profile to see if there's any water out there in front of us, we're painting the exact path we're tracking over. This paint is perfectly symmetrical top to bottom, which means there is no water within 40 miles of the airplane. We could range out, but not likely to change today. But uh, now that that's that's a fact. That's a stoichiometric fact. There's no water in that paint. Having said that, how is it that we have all these clouds and no water? Uh, well, not all clouds have rain in them, and that's what here. Uh, the radar does not paint clouds. It only paints water. It doesn't paint hail very well uh, because it's a different density. The radar is designed to paint water. And that, in fact, is what Nexrad paints but with much less resolution. The radar is real-time, and, of course... The next rad is not. So the radar is a real-time tactical tool that we can use to fly through rain showers, thunderstorms, rain showers. More about this in a minute. As we get closer, we'll update you. Dick Rochford, fly safely. Rain often.